Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. If you are new here, hi and welcome. It is August. Is it too early to make a video about your favorite? Um, I think so, but I am doing it. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you some plants that I am loving as a this time there are plants that had given me so much problems but had come back from it and now they are just making me happy so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it and I have beside me the plants that I'm going to show you today so the first one I have is a plant that I am uh, so happy to have in my collection at first it was like a very easy to take care of plant very beautiful plant, very um, light uh, tolerant plant. I've had it in a very low light uh, area in my home and it was thriving until it got spider mite. And I didn't notice it until it was a little too late. So I chopped the plant. I uh, made a lot of propagations out of it. I have then uh, sold and given those Propagation uh, cuttings propagations that I made out of this plant, but the mother plant is actually doing very well now. So this is my mycans, my philodendron mycans that I have chopped quite a lot. Like if you can see this vine here, I have chopped. Where is that? Um. Okay, yeah, I have chopped this plant over here and this is a new growth from that and this one here is where I chopped it to and yeah, there's just a lot of this one as well and it had dropped a lot of leaves from that spider mites you can still see like some damage on the on the leaf but uh, it is now spider mite free i have this uh, isolated from the rest of my plants and it seemed to be doing well um it worries me a little bit when it started when it started uh, dropping off the leaves because I thought it's going to die. But then I left it alone. I sprayed it with insecticidal soap. And it had worked. And now it is growing back. And it has a lot of new growths. Like those are new growths. And yeah, it is just making a beautiful comeback. And I can't wait for it to grow again for me like it is too so yeah this is my philodendron my kids all right the next one i have is almost like a similar story to the first one although this one i think it uh, was overwatered and it uh, lacked uh, some sunlight so it uh, started to go downhill so I have chopped this plant as well but now it is coming back and it is beautiful so this is my scissors this color that I have chopped to a stump and it is now growing back I love how uh, the leaves come out like that it is like purple with some white prints or something and then it will turn into like a dark uh, velvety green very beautiful and I like the stem too it's red this one is uh, a little leggy like the new growth um, I'm not sure why. I thought it liked where it is uh, located now because it started growing again. But I think having 
the vine leggy is a sign of it looking for some light so maybe i have to move it again at some point this plant like a lot of water because the leaves are super thin so missing my watering does a lot of damage to this plant it would instantly curl and you know die on me and drop so I'm always on top of the watering of this now because I really wanted to make this thrive for me I already have a lot of vining plants but this one is different and I can't wait for this to grow bigger I also have a cutting of this one in my terrarium and it is doing very well but it is not as long as this vines yet so I will leave it there for now and see how it goes so yeah my scissors this color okay so the next plant I have is a plant that has not grown for me for a very long time although I think it is uh, sort of my fault as well I have it in a very low light area um, yeah I have my ZZ this is just a regular ZZ plant that has stopped growing for me for a long time and I moved it I think a month ago into a different location and I am happy to see that I have new growth coming out here and there is one more I don't know if you could see one more over there like this one here is a new shoot so yeah I guess sunlight does miracle or light in general does miracle to plant growth and um, this is a very easy care plant I think it just needs more sunlight and it's it's gonna be happy although I can see now that it needs some dusting it's or probably it would appreciate a shower <laughs> it looks very dusty and actually how I uh, found out about the new growth because yesterday I knocked this plant over it was on the top of my shelf and I was uh, checking my Monstera and I knocked it over all the soil came out from the pot and that's when I saw the babies so I think it was a blessing in disguise <laughs> yeah so yeah this is my ZZ plant that is finally growing for me again okay guys the next plant i have is a plant that i started from a two leaf cutting that i bought on marketplace it uh, got spider mite as well but i was able to save it it wasn't uh, too bad so yeah this is my anthurium crystallinum that is giving me new leaves i have one here and then there is a baby one over there and I think okay that was just an old um, sheath so yeah I am very happy with this plant it just requires a lot of humidity that is why I have this in my prop box and it seemed to be liking it because it is continuously growing for me and actually on the bottom there let me see like um here it seemed to be pregnant and i think it's gonna be a new growth and i am excited for this one i have um already uh, gotten a cutting from this one as well i have it on my terrarium and it had uh, uh, started growing a new um, 
growth for me as well so yeah i am very happy of this plant very easy care and look at the aerial roots of this one it's going crazy <laughs> i think uh, i'm gonna leave this in a prop box for until it fits in there and very proud of this plant okay so guys the next one i have is a plant that has been uh, very easy going for me um i have chopped this one just recently and it has since then put out like new leaves for me so that's uh, why it made the, the list of my favorites for this month and that is my syndapsus uh, pictus uh, exotica which i am loving for the, uh, the big leaves that it has and yeah it is just very easy growing for me i have this on a south facing window and it just is constantly growing yeah this is my syndapsus pictus exotica um i have chopped this this side here which I don't know if you could see clearly but it has since put out the one two three four leaves um, I am not sure if I'm gonna keep this uh, uh, on a stake because it is a uh, sort of uh, taking a lot of space which I don't really have for a higher plant or plant on a stake or moss or moss pole or plank at some sort I think I will just uh, once it has grown more for me I will just let it trail because it is just easier for me when they are trailing so yeah this is the new leaf and there is one on the way here very easy care i just water when uh, uh top of uh, the soil is dry like uh, 25 percent of the soil is dry and it uh, is doing very well so yeah this is my synapses pictus exotica okay the next one on my list is um my uh Cebu Blue that is very beautiful at the moment it is getting full I have started this plant just a few cuttings from maybe six months ago I have six or seven something like that but it has since uh, gave me a lot of new growth I have chopped this I have propagated this many times already I have already sold a few cuttings I have already given a few cuttings of this one but it is starting to trail again I'm not sure I couldn't decide about uh, if I would uh, stake this if I would have it climbing or if I would have it trailing I kind of like the idea of having it climb so the leaves will mature and I heard once they are supported by a pole or something the leaves will have fenestrations so i kind of like that idea but it would just take more space and i really don't have uh, much space for that so i'm not sure but as of now i have it on a stake a very short stake it's up to here only and I have this much already so I'm not really sure yet but this has been so far a very easy care plant as well and it just grows even if I am not really taking care of it um, it doesn't require a lot of attention from me I just have it on a south facing window as well on a shelf and it doesn't get because it's on the top of the shelf it actually doesn't get much light but uh, yeah 
because I think it belongs to a Pothos family. That's why it doesn't require really a lot of light. I love how bluish the leaves of this plant are. I don't know if you could see it clearly, but it's beautiful and they look very delicate and you know fancy to me <laughs> just very unique shape of leaves so yeah this is my sable blue pothos all right the next one i have are uh, of the same family but i don't know if they are the same kind they kind of look different to me but these are my African violets. This one here has purple on the back of the leaves, a shade of purple or pink. I don't know if you could see. And the other one is also an African violet, but it's just pure green. See the back? It's just green. These uh, two plants are very easy care. This actually is in a medium area, medium light area in my home. I have it in our ledge by the stairs on the back of a sofa and it has been uh, doing pretty well. It um, doesn't like to have the leaves wet so I bottom watered this one because I think the stems of this one is like succulent type and yeah I think it store water as well so I just water this once in a while I would just fill the pot and if it is light then I would give it a little water otherwise I just leave it alone and it is beautiful the leaves are looking very healthy and they are very perky that's one clue too that I uh, get from them when they need water the uh, leaves are very uh, flimsy and they don't uh, stand up very well when they need water so yeah this is my African violet that has a very fussy uh, leaves and velvety. Very beautiful, very easy care plant. That's why it's on my favorite list for this month. Okay, the last one I have on my list for this uh, month is a Syngonium. This is a Syngonium white butterfly, I think. I got this maybe a month ago and it has since then grown a lot. And to be honest, I don't really do much with this plant. When I got this, I repotted it into this pot and it is already growing root out of the pot. And very, very easy care plant. I have it on the shelf beside me, like on this spot here. It gets a lot of light during the day and it is just doing very well. Very easy care and very beautiful plant. I love how the leaves look like with the green variations. They like different shades of green on its leaves. Very beautiful plant, very easy care. I really don't do much to this plant. And I just love how easy it is. I would love to have plants like this, like more of this kind. So yeah, this is my Syngonium white butterfly. All right, guys, I think that's all I have for this video. But I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.